हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेसेस विच आर इंडिपेंडेंट एंड कोऑपरेटिंग सो वेलकम यूर एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिलेशन बिटवीन द प्रोसेसेस एंड इन दिस रिलेशन वी आर हैविंग टू कैटेगरीज ऑफ द प्रोसेस दे प्रोसेस P1 वन एंड पी टू ओके दे कैन बी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ईच अदर मीन्स एग्जीक्यूशन एंड स्टेट ऑफ पी वन डज नॉट अफेक्ट एग्जीक्यूशन एंड स्टेट ऑफ पी टू ओके सो दैट इज इंडिपेंडेंट देर इज नो रिलेशन बिटवीन दैम हाउ एवर सम सम काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस और सम काइंड ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन ओके कंप्यूटेशन may required processes to interact with each other okay may required process to interact with each other okay and if it is the requirement if it is the requirement then we call it those processes as a cooperating processes maybe either it can be independent or cooperating okay so some computation may require two process to communicate with each other and in that case we call it as either it can be independent or cooperating so what exactly is the independent process that its state is not shared in any way by the other process whatever state it is in it is not shared by any other um, shared by any way to any other process its execution is deterministic that it doesn't depend on anything else that you can predict the output that like if i say a prime number computation right so now state is doesn't uh, determine means it is not dependent on any other program it may be depends upon the input but that is the that same program so deterministic and result uh, of the execution uh, depends on only on the input state uh, only input will affect it, uh, its execution otherwise nothing it's execution is reproducible that is the, the result of the execution will always be the same for the same input okay so reproducible means you can reproduce the same result its execution can be stopped and restarted without causing ill effect okay so we can stop and again restart the execution independent process whereas you have now in the real world the most of the process are cooperating process okay its state is shared among uh, the processes and the best example is your reservation okay reservation system means uh, if you have a process of uh, one process that is reserving the ticket and another process that is uh, fetching the details of available seats then these two process are not not independent huh? this reservations and details depends upon the details av available seats they are going to you know going to share some same data and the as you are doing the reservation the details uh, or the availability of the seats will be keep on decreasing and if if there is availability of the seat then only reservation will proceed with that okay so these are not uh, example of what example of independent process so this state is shared by another process availability of the seed will be shared by the reservation reservation status will be shared by the uh, details in terms of availability its, its execution is non deterministic that is the result of the execution depend on the relative execution sequence and cannot be predicted in advance okay so relative um, executions and this is the best example suppose uh, i am i am just fetching the how many seats are available and that that time uh, reservation is happening so now you cannot always say that same answer will be produced if reservation is happening first and then you are fetching the detail of available seat definitely in that case uh, let's say there will be suppose four seats are being reserved so the available seat will will show four less number of seats if reservation is happening first but if if the reservation is happening later in that case and if you fetch the detail of uh, available seats then definitely it is going to show four more seats right so relative relative sequence of execution and cannot be predicted in advance so you cannot say that it will always going to give you the same result its execution is irreproducible that is result 
of the execution will not always be the same for the same input. So you do the four reservation. Now this is totally depends upon the availability. If it is available, you will always going to do the perform the reservation. Otherwise, uh, it may not be give you the same result always. So now uh, for this independent and cooperating process, what we required, we need a communication between them and that communication we are calling it as inter-process communication and in the real world model, uh, in the real world scenario, we have a lot of process which are communicating with each other. So we have already seen this uh, that cooperating process can affect or affected by the other processes including the sharing the data. Now, a reason why you need it, why we need is information share, sharing, like seat availability, computational speed up. Uh, this is a good point here, computational speed up, because I, if a given process can, you know, perform different tasks or a simple reason is the modularity, I can create four different modules and four different modules are only all are part of what all are a part of a single application. Four different modules are created and they are communicating with each other okay so that will definitely going to do the perform the computation speed up and the next is the modularity okay and that is one way of somehow related with computational speed up and convenience Co cooperating process need inter process communication ipc okay and the models of the is either they communicate through a shared memory or message passing so you have a shared variable, shared memory and both variable process A and process B can go and access this shared memory. Okay. Uh, and uh, process A is processing messages and uh, message 0, message 1, message 2 and this uh, process B is reading those uh, messages. So we have a message passing and shared memory, two different communication models with us. Okay, and these are the models that will help in you know inter-process communication. So the requirement or the need of process to you know talk with each other, communicate with each other, and and that has been done by here two methods: message processing uh, M0 to MN is a message pass. This is the message queue, and PA is putting the messages, and uh, process B is uh, reading those messages. Shared memory is a very common common thing. So that is your uh, cooperating process. Now the next section we are going to talk about what problem may occur. Okay, what problem may occur due to this concept of shared memory? Okay, or message passing. So so that is a different issue. But we are going to see the next problem that. What problem may, what problem occur if we are sharing memory? Okay, and that will lead the lead the foundation of what? Let will lead the foundation of your process synchronization. Okay, so that's all for this discussion. Thank you very much.